Now, AMC Entertainment spared no expense when it came to the float for the Rose Parade. And this is indicative of one thing and one thing only. AMC Entertainment is nowhere near bankruptcy. You don't spend hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, on a Rose Parade float if you're anywhere near, I guess, financial instability or financial insecurity. AMC Entertainment is sitting on $1.6 billion worth of cash and they know how to spend it. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the advertising exposure they got from the Rose Parade float. We're going to be talking about what it means for 2022 and their upcoming, I guess, expectations and especially what it means for AMC stock and the AMC stock short squeeze. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Now look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks, you can use the link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. A $100 deposit is gonna get you at least two free stocks and then any $1 crypto trade is gonna get you at least $5 in your choice of free cryptocurrency. So make sure to go take advantage to that get ready to start 2022 off on the best foot forward and make it the best year ever now guys talking about amc entertainment it is not cheap to put a float in the rose parade average costs for these things are 260,000 plus dollars and that's just the average cost now clearly amc entertainment had a, a makeshift uh, or a mock theater on this float and it was very well received not only on social media but by a lot of the people that were actually in attendance of the rose parade now let's talk about a couple reasons why it was so well received and what this means moving forward for AMC. So one of the biggest feedbacks they got from people that actually attended the, the Rose Parade was that, oh my gosh, bring the AMC float back. Bring the AMC back, please. Because they were playing trailers from, from movies that are going to be coming out on this float. And people loved this. They gave them an extra, sen or extra sense of entertainment as they were there, as they were spectating. And this really went over very well. Brilliant idea by AMC's marketing department on that one. And it got people talking. So it got people talking on AMC or on social media about AMC that aren't necessarily apes. Now, clearly, we had our fair share of apes there, and they represented the AMC stock community very well. We had planes flying over. We had gorillas passing out free, um, free movie theater gift cards is what I'm trying to say. Free AMC gift cards as the parade went on. And it was no doubt that the AMC community was very well represented there. Now, speaking of the money that they spent on this float, this, the money that they spent by entering the Rose Parade, how does that translate into a return on investment? Because if AMC is just spending money simply because they have money, that's a bad idea. We don't want to see that happening. But... I did a lot of research and, and read a lot of articles on the, the actual impact that the Rose Parade has on various companies. And one of the biggest things they say is just that the brand recognition hits home. You participate in a hundred plus year old, uh, I guess, event with the Rose Parade and people see it out there. Now, this was AMC Entertainment's very first year ever participating in the event, but it goes to show that they have the budget. Now, AMC Entertainment has been advertising in a drastic way, okay? After raising all of this money from diluting AMC stock and selling the additional shares, You've seen $25 million plus campaigns for Nicole Kidman to go out there and walk into a theater and say how great AMC Entertainment is. You've seen them buying big movie theater after big movie theater so that they can generate more revenue in 2022 once those are AMC locations and AMC Entertainment locations. 
you see them participating in, in rose parades like this just to get that brand recognition and brand awareness out there. Now, this time it worked very well because they got a positive response on social media. People were talking about it, and it's not, like I said, just the AMC apes that were talking about this. Now, does this necessarily translate into extra income or additional revenue? Uh, the answer is no. What it translates into and how they determine this ROI is that brand recognition and goodwill are worth something. So if you participate in, in an event like this, if, if AMC continues to participate in events like this, it doesn't guarantee that any of the spectators out there will go to an AMC as opposed to going to a, a Cinemark movie theater or anything like that. But what it does, I guess, hit home is that goodwill factor that they can add to the balance sheet. Now, whether or not you think that's worth anything, I guess is up for the marketing department at AMC to determine because they went out there, they determined that it was good enough to spend the money advertising AMC Entertainment at the Rose Parade, and I'm just thrilled that it went over as well as it did. It gave us additional exposure, which should, in turn, equate to additional revenue throughout 2022. It built up the brand recognition and it made I guess it just made the, the AMC theater or AMC entertainment name more of a household name so that people can make that decision when they do decide to go back to the theater and when they do decide to go one, see one of their favorite movies and so on. But I want to know what you guys think because this was no, uh, like, like they didn't spare any expense in this. It costs like an average of a quarter million dollars to get the float. Then you have to pay the fee to participate in the parade. You have to pay all of the people who coordinate the parade and, and work for AMC Entertainment to get this thing off the ground. I want to know if you guys think it was worth it. Because at the end of the day, yes, I do want to build AMC's fundamentals up because it, it destroys the shorts thesis. Clearly at this point, I believe the short thesis is destroyed if AMC Entertainment is out there buying floats for the Rose Parade. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, what it will do for AMC stock. Will it increase the price of this stock, therefore the short squeeze is right around the corner? Or do you think that this was just like a, a brand recognition type of deal and increases the goodwill on the balance sheet? Now of course if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. But make sure you use the links in the description below for that because there's a lot of scammers out there right now and a lot of people trying to use my name and so on. So just click the links in the description for all the socials down there. Weeble, Binance, and Gemini down in the description below. Sign up. Get ready to make 2022 the best year ever. Whether you're brand new to investing or you've been around for decades, we've got one goal, and that is to make money in the stock market and in the crypto market. Now, until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.